Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel where we talk about all things of Facebook ads and today I quickly just want to show you the number one way you can prevent your Facebook ad account, Facebook account, business manager, whatever it is from getting hacked or from someone accessing it that you don't know. I've been seeing a huge uptake in people get, trying to get in touch with us with a uh, hacked Facebook ad account and the number one way or only like the way that you can prevent that is by setting up two-factor authentication. And that would mean that when you log in from somewhere that or a device that Facebook does not recognize, they're gonna be like, hey, let's just confirm it's you. It seems like you're in a different spot right now. I just wanna confirm that it's you. You're gonna generate a code in one of the ways that I'm gonna show you. You're gonna input that code. Facebook's gonna be like, hey, Good to go, thank you. Yep, you're right, that is you, right? So this is setting up two-factor authentication. And the way it works is that your Facebook profile is actually the one that's going to set it up. So if you're familiar with going into Business Manager or into your ad account or Business Suite, you don't do it from there and it's actually not associated to your um, Facebook business. It's your personal profile on Facebook. So me, Sydney, although I get access to our clients ad accounts, um, you know, through our partner ID or our business manager ID, when we set up two-factor authentication, it is for the profile that you maneuver through business manager and your Facebook assets with. So it's just not related with your, with your business. It is your personal profile. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. If you don't have it set up, it's time to do it. If your friends don't have it set up, I recommend everyone to set it up and to actually have two different methods of doing it. So let's actually just dive right in. So the first thing you're going to do is actually just open up facebook.com, log in, and you're going to be on your dashboard. Now, what you're going to do is go to the top right corner you're gonna press your little profile picture and you're gonna to go to settings and privacy because logically we are going to be changing the settings and adjusting the privacy then you are going to press the settings button okay that will bring you to this page now Facebook just introduced accounts center so actually these settings are now going to be in this button here see more in accounts center now, if you don't have that option or if your thing looks a little bit different, basically what you want to look for is password and security. So you might be on the older version of Facebook potentially, um, but you want to look for passwords and security because logically, and I, I say logically just because it can be confusing to get there if you're like, ah, I forgot where she clicked, but we are looking to change the way that you log in. And that is with the password and the security feature that Facebook has when you log in. And then right away, you'll see that two-factor authentication is right there. You're then gonna choose the profile you want to be associated with. Now, right away, as I'm changing these settings, Facebook wants to verify that I'm the one doing this. If you think about the way a hacker would do it they would, and, they, and they had your uh, password, they would go in there, change your password right away. But Facebook wants to make sure that you're actually that person. Now, if you don't have two-factor authentication, right here, you would actually have to input your password. But because I have two-factor authentication enabled, then I have to go to my authenticator app, which I'll show you how to do in just a second, and input my code here. So this is what mine looks like. And yours might look slightly different with different options, you know, a bolded text and then an option, bolded text and then an option. The first way that I would recommend that you set this up is at least at the bare minimum text message. So I go through those settings. It asks me what phone number do you want to use? It's going to send me a text message right away. Then you input that six digit code into Facebook and then it'll tell you it's all set up. All right. Now the second method, which I actually would recommend even more, and you can see that Facebook does recommend it, is by using an authenticator app. Now, in order to set this up, what you're gonna wanna do is that on your phone, you're gonna go to the app store. So if, you know, Android, Apple, whatever, go to the app store and you're gonna download Google Authenticator. Now, there are a few different options for authenticator apps. The other one would be Duo Mobile, I believe is the name of it. I personally use a Google account all the time. I'm very familiar with using Google. All of our assets are with Google. I like Google Drive, etc. So I use the Google Authenticator app. So if you type that in, then you'll see a logo that has like kind of looks like a star and it has Google's colors on it. That's the one that you're going to choose. Download it right away. Then you're going to want to log in with whatever Gmail you like to use. So if you're familiar with, you know, first name, last name at gmail.com, whatever your Gmail account is, 
you can log in with that one. It does not have to be the same one that's associated with your Facebook account. So for example, my Google Authenticator is sydneyadvertexmarketingagency.com, that's my business email. And for my Facebook, I have another personal Facebook email that I use specifically for Facebook that I created when I was like eight years old. So they do not have to be the same. All we're gonna do is connect the two together, right? So once you choose that authenticator as the option here inside of Facebook, you're then gonna get a type of barcode that um, looks like this. Then inside of your authenticator app, add, press a little plus button and scan that QR code or you can enter the key. So there's two options there depending on what you want to do. Um, you scan that you or you enter the key and then right away, once that's completed, Facebook is gonna ask you for that six digit code. You put in that six digit code and there we go. That is pretty much it. That's all you have to do. Keep in mind that whenever Facebook doesn't recognize the device that you're on or the location that you're in, so those are different than, I don't know, your every day-to-day -day stuff, it's going to ask you to put in that six digit code. So whatever method you prefer, um, when you log in, you actually have like both options. I recommend the authenticator app. Every time that Facebook asks for that six digit code, when you're trying to log in, you just open that app and you can put in that six digit code and it refreshes every 60 seconds. That's why I highly recommend this one. I've had issues with the SMS option before and people just never got the code, which leads to a bunch of issues, which is also why I like to have both options in there. When they ask for that code, you open the app, you're going to see it, going to refresh every 60 seconds. If it's still in the green, if it does, like, hasn't been refreshed yet, put it in there, boom, you're good to go. What's nice about this Google Authenticator is that if you lose your phone or if you break it and you can't access it, you can actually still get that code. Whereas if you um, opt for the text message opt option and you lose your phone, it gets stolen or it breaks and you can't access your text before you get a new phone, um, or until you get a new phone, I guess, then you can't log into Facebook from a new device, which I see an issue with that. So set up both, but ideally you're using the authenticator app on a day-to-day -day basis because you can log in from multiple devices and still be able to get that code. So those are the two ways that I have it set up. Um, I'd highly recommend that you guys set it up and is the number one way that you can prevent yourself from getting hacked or even just securing your account. Let me just give you an example on why it's so important to set this up. And that is because if your Facebook business is organized properly within Business Manager. Well, one of the steps to that is actually getting verified. So getting your Business Manager verified, not just like get a little trust badge by Facebook. One of those steps actually is for the admins to enable two-factor authentication. So if you have your business set up properly on Facebook, it should actually already be required, but some people do not have it verified um, or it's not a requirement. So let's say you're the only admin inside of that account, or maybe you have two other admins inside of that account. You don't have two-factor authentication set up and you get hacked, which happens all the time. That hacker could go, then go into your business manager, remove the other admins, change your password, and all of the assets that are inside of that business manager get locked there. So you lose your Facebook page, you lose your ad account. If there's any credit cards on file, then you wouldn't be able to log in and get or remove that once that person has logged in and re removed your access, basically. Not only like, are you putting yourself at risk by not having it turned on? If you get hacked, your entire business on Facebook is at risk um, and having all of your assets locked inside of your business manager because you cannot remove assets like a Facebook page or an ad account from business manager unless you do it from inside of that business manager. And probably Facebook is going to see that there's some suspicious activity and then disable your ad account or your business manager and that just creates a whole other set of problems. So honestly, I cannot recommend enough how important it is to have two-factor authentication enabled. And it's the number one way that you can prevent yourself from getting hacked. So please go set it up. Tell your friends and family to go set it up. If you do need help with anything related to Facebook ads, Instagram ads, and it's your whole business on Facebook, we actually do offer coaching and consulting where we hop on weekly calls and you also get messaging support. So we can guide you through your entire Facebook journey and scale you from the ground up and ultimately teach you how to be able to run your own Facebook ads efficiently and effectively. Alternatively, we also do offer a full done for you service as well for anyone who's looking to have everything fully managed by us, including the copy, the creative, the management, the clicking of the buttons inside of ads manager really we take care of everything so if that's also an option that you're looking for we'd be happy to chat with you all right if you did find any value in this video today please do give it a thumbs up and we'll hope to see you in the next one